it's helped me even manifest better things into my life that I didn't know I was I would ever ever get or even I didn't know that it they would ever happen because I felt unworthy and Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Patra and what we do here is we talk about self-development, healing, boundary work and just being better people. So it's been a huge minute and that's because with everything that's been going down in 2020, I found myself in a place where I had less motivation and yeah, I just had to make really important decisions and major changes into my life and that's emotionally, physically, mentally and even geographically. So I just wasn't feeling myself to get into it so i decided to do this video as a way of reflecting and yeah majorly this video is for me and anyone out there who has found themselves with less motivation and the other day i was thinking how can i be able to do some self-reflection without actually writing it down because i still haven't been that consistent with my journaling as well so i decided to just do it in a video so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna grab a few quotes and just reflect on those as i go so the first quote i am going to reflect on is it's by Aldous Huxley. I'll put everything up on the screen. So it's by Aldous Huxley. And it goes like, there's only one corner of the universe and there's only one corner of the universe that you can be certain of improving and that is your own self. I really, really love this quote because it's, there's so much truth to this and there's also so much like taking ownership and responsibility for yourself is some it's something that everyone should do and yeah also getting letting go of control of other people like obviously no one wants to be under the control of someone else like we came into this life to kind of find ourselves and figure out ourselves and make the world a better place create some new things so yeah you, you owe that to yourself to actually improve yourself and like I'll just say it there's only one corner and that is yourself and you can also be certain of improving yourself because you have complete control over yourself and your own life and the second one is um, Abraham Lincoln so it just goes like in the end it's not the years in your life that count it's the life in your years this I find this quote confronting to me because I think sometimes we think that everything is all about career or everything is all about um, your family or everything is all about um, whatever it is that you put so much um, value in and not in yourself like how you feel and how you have been able to live and I'm not saying that you should just take care of yourself and I don't know be all about yourself no I'm just saying that you have to kind of like let go of all those things and ask yourself this question am I leaving how am I feeling because you may I'm just going to give this example because it's quite common you may actually just find so much importance and put all your time and value in your career but your career might rob you of a lot of other things that are important like your family your social life your friendship like all those connections and we're humans so we're social beings we need that kind of connection to feel alive if that makes sense and the next quote i'm going to reflect on it's by anne frank annie frank so whoever is happy will make others happy too and that's the same with peace wow so i think if you are happy and you're genuinely feeling happy not like you're just putting on like that face of like oh i'm happy i should be happy like if you're genuinely a happy person everyone around you kind of picks up on that energy as well and sometimes you get with people who are who have like this draining energy and like if you're not really genuinely and also feeling like you're happy people like that kind of can kind of like drain you in some way because you're not even firm in your happiness i don't know if this makes sense but it's 
overflowing. Anyone who takes some from you can take some, you're still going to stay overflowing. It's not that you only have this happiness and you should hold on to that. If someone comes and takes it away, they've taken it away. That and That's not genuine happiness, in my opinion. So yeah, whoever is happy and genuinely happy, even peaceful, like obviously this comes from a lot of inner work that in my in my situation i've done a lot of inner work i've worked on myself so much so i'm at that place where i know it's i'm overflowing of all these good things and if someone gets a bit of that it's never it's never going to run out and the next one is um by robert lurie by robert louis stevenson and it just says that don't judge each day by the habit by the harvest you reap but by the seeds that you plant okay what it means by harvest is the things that you've actually put out and sometimes we live in days where we think that we become kind of entitled and we think that oh we should get this we should get this good harvest why is that one getting good stuff why don't i ha why don't i get good things and all that but what did you put in to get all those good things have you been kind enough you know things usually come back it's usually all your responsibility so make sure you plant make sure you just focus on the seeds that you put in today because those seeds the harvest you're going to reap it it's your harvest so no matter how many no matter how what you do those seeds that you plant the harvest is going to come back to you because it's yours so instead of looking to getting things that you haven't even put in effort or you haven't even done anything to get them just try to plant the seeds the next one is it's by unknown actually and it just goes like your breathing is your greatest friend return return to it in all of your travels and you'll find comfort and guidance i never i never actually knew that this was the case before covid so when covid hit i actually got through a lot like i we just had i just had to sit through a lot of feelings and all that and it kind of becomes really overwhelming and then you come down with panic attacks you come back you come down with all these things anxiety and depression but whatever i what i did i just kind of became consistent with all the meditations and mainly deep breathing because I just felt calmer when I did it and the more consistent I was it kind of became a lifestyle like a way of living that I was in so now I'm a much calmer person and when I find myself trapped like feeling like I'm losing control I'll just go back and breathe and it is your best friend this quote is so true it is like I think you should always rerun to and and just it will center you and you will know that hey that is something that is out of my control or if it's in your control you can kind of take care of it but yeah deep breathing is definitely something that you sh anyone should do everyone should do and then Lucy Ball says Love yourself first and everything else falls in place, falls in line. You really have to love yourself to get anything done in this world. Wow. This has to be like the top, top, top quotes for me because before I actually started doing inner work, I just kind of felt, no, I didn't kind of feel, I did feel unworthy. And when I, there's years that came by when I started to be positive about it, but it, not that it's not that simple if you've been feeling it for a huge a long time from when i was like little yeah so your body is still going to kind of feel like that and unconsciously you're going to keep doing these things that kind of like show that you still feel unworthy so practicing self-love has actually really helped me so much it's helped me even manifest better things into my life that i didn't know i was i would ever ever get or even i didn't know that it they would ever happen because i felt unworthy and in my situation just started manifesting things that i didn't know that i would get even people that i didn't even know existed i just because i was just 
so used to and so familiar to that toxic um i don't know self self unworthiness so i was familiar with that and so obviously many things that i attracted into my life kind of like confirmed that kind of belief that i had going on so then you start to realize that you are really worthy and you are really valuable and when you start to realize that subconsciously it's going to you're going to pick up on that and when you do you're going to start manifesting things that are going to confirm that that i'm worthy i'm valuable and all the people that start coming into your life really actually value you everything that comes into your life it's like you didn't even think that you deserved this or you would be doing this and obviously we're all humans that that little feeling of unworthiness usually comes in and creeps in and be like oh do I, am i really worthy of this but 